The video is startling and scary. It shows thieves rushing an Oakland jewelry store. This is surveillance video. The store's owner says the robbers duly took all their life saving in just a matter of minutes. That smash and grab happened Wednesday at one of the oldest jewelry stores in Chinatown. NBC Barry's Valina Jones explains how the community is now rallying behind that store. The video shows a group of six thieves, including one with a gun, rush into Fong Jewelry Store in Chinatown and violently smash cases with hammers, grabbing everything they can. Many, many people get in here, and we don't know what I do. I feel scared. Even right now, my heart is still... Huh. It happened around 12.30, just as the store was opening. As owner Diane Trin ducks for cover, she yells for her husband, who comes out with a gun. It was enough to scare the robbers back out the door, but not before stealing the store's most expensive inventory. They took the special socket diamond right here. Mm -hmm. They took a lot. Mm -hmm. Then gold, 18K gold, 24 karat gold. Mm -hmm. They knew exactly what they wanted, and they went after the main core items that is pretty much 85 to 90 percent is the value of our entire inventory. The group got in after Diane says one man pretended to be a customer. In total, she says nine people were involved. She also says the chaos is bringing back trauma for the family. Diane's father was shot and killed in a break-in at the same store in the 90s. No, we didn't lose lives and it wasn't as brazen. There was two men, but definitely it's brought back Badly. Her son Tony is the executive director of Oakland's Chinatown Improvement Council. He explains the break-in also brings an added burden because the store is no longer insured. The insurance costs so much with jewelry, especially in Oakland Chinatown. A lot of businesses here, they don't even qualify. A GoFundMe has been set up to help the 40-year-old store recover and keep its doors open, something customers say is critically important for the entire community. Hopefully they stay. Uh, it'll be a big loss for the city and for the people like us that comes back here year in and year out, you know, to patronize these good people. As the family works to keep their legacy alive, they say they're committed to not letting crime drive them out of Oakland. I think we need to be strong, you know. Um, things happen for a reason. Our family has suffered, uh, but we've been just inundated with so much love and so much support. In Oakland, Valina Jones, NBC Bay Area News.